When you first open Photoshop, this is what you will typically see. It's pretty daunting, a little bit overwhelming. So let's break it down bit by bit. At the top, we have the menu system. Several main headings. If you click on one, it opens up a drop down. And as we cursor along, you'll see that every single menu has a drop down. Quite complex because within these drop downs, there are also sub menus. The good news is that you won't use a lot of these menu headings and some of the most common ones are available in other ways. Next, we'll look at the toolbar. This runs down the left hand side of your screen and contains the tools you will most commonly use in Photoshop. If you hover over it for any length of time, a little pop out will appear and it will tell you what that tool is and what it does. Some have a learn how button and if you click that it will take you to a video which shows you how it works. Also you may notice there are little uh, arrows at the bottom right hand corner of some tools. If we right click on the tool it will show you variations of that tool, different versions of the tool. When you have a tool selected, the tool option bar will appear. And this contains a number of settings and modifiers for the different tools. As you click a different tool, the contents of this will change. And this is very useful for changing the characteristics of any tool that you might be using. This area here is the image window. It's where any image you load is going to appear. So let's load one and see what happens. Go to File, Open, scroll down until we find an image that we want to use, and we'll use this one here. There we are, it appears in the image window. It's possible to have more than one file open at a time, so we'll go back to File, Open, and we'll just scroll down and find something else to go. Um, let's see, yeah. This one will do. We open that there. So to move between them, we simply click the title bar at the top for each one. The final section of the Photoshop workspace is the panel section. And over here, the default setup gives us a whole lot of panels. Panels are useful because they give you shortcuts to all the things that Photoshop can do. And when you first load up Photoshop, you get all these panels and it's very confusing and very cluttered. And I, what I would recommend is the first thing we do is let's get rid of them. So here we have the history panel. We'll open it up and you can see there's a little set of bars up here. If you click on them, it says close. Next, we have the color panel. But notice there are also swatches, gradients and patterns. This is called a panel group. You can arrange panels in groups too if you wish. And when we go to the little bars icon, we have close tab group. So we can close them all in one go. Here we have properties and adjustments. And let's just go here and close tab group. Do the same with this one. We'll get rid of the learn Photoshop. And we'll get rid of libraries. So that's them all gone. So now, interestingly enough, we're going to put some back. Let's have a look. Where do we find them? How do we put them back? Easily done. We go to the window menu and all the panels are down here nicely in a list. So we can go through them and add in any we want to use. There's the adjustments panel. So that's there now. Let's add in the layers panel. We would always have the layers panel open. And we'll also bring back the history panel. That'll do for the moment. Now you can see that they're slightly different in arrangement. And we also brought in some panels we didn't want. So we'll go to the properties panel and we'll close it. Go to the channels panel and we'll close it. 
go to the pass panel and we'll close it so there we have these panels they're all open I can reduce them to icons if I wish and you'll notice this one has no text but if I drag out the icon bar then it now has text and you'll see you can arrange them in two lines but I can also pick that up simply move it in there and when a bar appears it drops and what for instance if I wanted layers and adjustments to appear in a group I would just say take adjustments drop it on top of layers and now when I open layers adjustments are right there so there we have it an arrangement of panels but what if you wanted to you don't want to have to set that up every single time so luckily there is a way of saving them here we have workspace and these are the default workspaces that photoshop gives you and we'll create a new workspace and we'll just call this one temp because i'm not going to keep it and let's see what happens save that and we have now a workspace called temp and if we look in the workspace list we've got one so let's reset it back to essentials default oh wait a minute nothing's changed how come well the reason is is because i've changed it uh, in this instance of photoshop so all i need to do is go to reset essentials and hey presto we're right back to what photoshop gave us in the first place now if i want to set it up for my use i simply go into workspace choose temp and hey presto we're in temp and the last thing i'll do just so you can see is let's add one more panel and let's add this time uh, character panel which you would use if you wanted to add any text so that panel gives us character and paragraph character gives us all our text setting paragraph is things like justification and so on now if i want to update my workspace I go there and it's rather clumsy because I have to hit new workspace again and call it temp save tells me I already have it I wish to replace it yes and we now have a new workspace called temp which will look like this and that I think brings us to the end of the Photoshop workspace